Hi, I'm Tony Gondola from the New Mexico Museum of Space History in Alamogordo, and I'm excited to bring you the next installment in our From the Vault series. Enjoy! Like most museums, it's the large showpiece items that get the visitor's attention, and rightfully so. Yet there are thousands of smaller items both in our archives and on display that have an important story to tell. Our CO2 element absorber is just such an item. Commonly known as lithium hydroxide or LiOH canister, this unassuming box may not seem like much, but without it, sending astronauts into space for any extended period of time simply would not be possible. Our canister measures 7 by 7 by 5 inches in size and weighs about 6 pounds. These canisters were used in the Apollo Command Module Environmental Control System, or ECS. The role of the ECS was to maintain a proper cabin environment for the crew. In addition to maintaining proper oxygen and humidity levels in the spacecraft, the ECS also needed to control the amount of carbon dioxide in the cabin. Carbon dioxide is a byproduct of human respiration, and if left unchecked, it would quickly build up to levels that would be lethal to the crew. That's where our little canister comes in. It contains lithium hydroxide, carbon, and a felt barrier. As cabin air is passed through the canister, the lithium hydroxide absorbs the excess CO2, the carbon absorbs odors, and the felt barrier traps debris. Depending on the length of the mission, each Apollo command module will carry 20 to 30 canisters on board. The ECS used two canisters at all times, with one being replaced every 12 hours for the length of the mission. Incidentally, the use of LiOH to remove CO2 from closed environments is not limited to spacecraft. Versions are used anywhere you have a closed loop atmosphere, such as in submarines and spacesuits. The technology is also widely used in mining and medical treatment. Unlike many pieces of obscure space hardware, the little LiOH canister found a certain amount of fame in 1970 during the flight of Apollo 13. If you've seen the movie, you might remember this. Okay people, listen up. People upstairs handed us this one and we gotta come through. We gotta find a way to make this fit into the hole for this using nothing but that. When one of the oxygen tanks exploded a few days into flight, the crew had to use the lunar module as a lifeboat for the trip home, as all systems on board the command module were shut down. The lunar module only carried enough LiOH canisters to sustain two men for a few days on the lunar surface, not three men for the several days needed to get home. There were plenty of canisters on board the command module, but as you've seen, those were square. The LEM canisters were round. The command module canisters simply would not fit the LEM system. By using gray tape, plastic bags, a suit hose, and a cardboard flight plan cover, the ground came up with a way to adapt the command module canisters to the LEM ECS system, saving the crew and the mission. The solution was far from the way NASA usually does things, but it worked. So the next time you're touring the museum, Take a little time and pay attention to the little things on display. They often have a big story to tell. Well, that about wraps up our latest edition from our From the Vault series. If you have any questions about what you've just seen, feel free to post them here. We'll do our best to get an answer to you as quick as we can. Also, keep an eye on this location for future updates and future installments of the series highlighting our wonderful collection of museum artifacts. For now, Stay home, stay safe, stay curious.